And sure enough, the date of your account certificate market is that higher offer. And by the time we showed up to Ohio, the check was already here. <laughs> we will do it. So well, what we need for our condo. I mean. Hallelujah. She's praising for his uh, faithful to wait. He is faithful to us. We're so good to us. We're so gracious, so merciful. You said your grace is sufficient. You meant it. We stand on that truth tonight. For every second, every minute, every hour of every day, your grace is sufficient for us. Thank you for what you have brought us through today. Things that we don't even know were plotted against us. Things that we don't even know. The snares that tried to be set against us that you kept us from falling into. Father, we thank you for that tonight. We know that we have an enemy that is seeking to destroy, but we know that you are greater. You are victorious. Hallelujah. We have the victory in you, Father, through our Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. Our portion is not defeat, but our portion is victory. And we stand on that truth tonight in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus the Christ. Thank you, Yeshua, for your sacrifice. Thank you, Yeshua, that you are interceding for us. Thank you. Thank you, Yeshua, that you have got our back. You have got our front. You have got our side, side to side. You have got us surrounded. Hallelujah. You are the glory and the lifter up of our head. Our portion is not oppression. Our portion is not depression. Our portion is not fear or anxiety. Our portion is rest. Our portion is strength. Our portion is joy. Our portion is deliverance. Hallelujah. That is our portion. Thank you for that tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just come into your courts with thanksgiving. We enter your gates with praise. We praise you tonight, Abba Father. We praise you tonight, King Yeshua. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, your Ruach, Hakadesh, our comforter, our counselor, our teacher that leads and guides us into all truth. You never lead us astray. You never lead us into deception, but you always lead us into truth. You always lead us into life. And life more abundant. Thank you tonight for the abundant life. Hallelujah. You're more than enough. You're more than enough. Hallelujah. You're more than enough. Oh, you're more than enough. Thank you, Father, that you do make rivers in the desert. The things the world calls impossible are possible with you, Father. So we just want to believe you even the more. We want to trust you even more. That those things that the world is calling impossible, we will see come to pass in our lives. You said in your word, whose report will you believe? And we believe you tonight, Father. We believe your report, your word, 
and our promises. what the next conspiracy theory, no matter what the next trap or snare or whatever it is that is going on around us, we fix our eyes on you, Father. We fix our eyes on you. You told us not to be ignorant of the enemy's devices, so we ask for you to, to reveal to us those traps reveal to us those snares that have been set. Give us the wisdom that we need. Give us the courage that we need to walk by faith and not by sight. Where hope has been deferred in your people, I just pray that hope be restored that hope be poured back into your people. In the name of Yeshua. And that we will begin to seek you like never before with an urgency. I pray you put an urgency in our spirit to rise up, to take our positions, to seek you your wisdom and your guidance, Father, and your strength, your courage, that we will not be overcome with fear. We will not be overcome with doubt. We will not be overcome with hopelessness, but we will be overcome with your presence, with your spirit, with your word. We will dive into your word like never before and fight the good fight of faith. We pray that you reveal to those who, who need clarity, that need understanding of what it is that you're calling them to do, where they fit in, what is their position, what part are they to do in the body of Messiah as a whole, those who just don't know and that are seeking, that you begin to reveal to them, Father, in the name of Yeshua, reveal to them, open their eyes to truly see and understand what it is that you have called them to do, what you have purposed for them to do, and that they will begin to chase after what you put in their heart to do in this earth for your kingdom, that kingdom work begin to be done like never before. Kingdom, your kingdom, begin to be built like never before, Father. We want your kingdom to come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So where our eyes have grown dim, and we haven't been seeing things clearly by the Holy Spirit when we've seen things through our fleshly eyes or through a soulish place, that you will remove the scales that you open our eyes to see clearly by your Holy Spirit. Help us to recognize the enemy far off. your strategy in the name of Yeshua put an urgency oh father I can't shake this this has just been weighing on me for the last few days just the urgency of people can truly truly see in the spirit what is happening this place would be filled People would fall on their faces in desperation for the presence and the word of the king. Playtime is over. This is not a game. 
Playtime is over. Church is over. Teach us how to fight the good fight of faith and not be slack concerning the things of the kingdom, not be lazy concerning the things of the kingdom, but we be diligent. That we will be diligent, yes. faithful servants of the king, faithful ambassadors of the king, that we will truly rise up and be the voice of Yeshua in the earth. In the name of Yeshua. And we won't be sitting on the fence. We won't be compromising. We will not be doing things that are unholy. You will not be doing things that are not pleasing to our king. In the name of Yeshua, wake us up, Father. Wake us up. We want to be used by you. We want to be used by you, Father. To seek the lost, touch the lives of those who are hurting, those who are, who've been cast out by the world, who are just considered trash and forgotten by those around them. We want to reach them, Father. We want to reach the lost and the broken, the hurting and the lame, the blind, those who are weak, those that have no more strength left, that have just given up. We want to be hope to the hopeless, life to the lifeless, those that are just completely undone and, and without hope, that don't even know what to do. They're, they're at their last straw. Send us to be hope to those people. Those people that are just caught up in material things and they think they have it all together and they have the big house and they have the fancy car and they have the fine clothes and they have everything that they have at their fingertips at their disposal, but they're empty spiritually. They're dead spiritually. They're blind spiritually. Use us, Father. Send us to speak a word that will open their blinded eyes, that will bring them to life, Father. In the name of Yeshua, those that have been lame spiritually and don't even know it, open our eyes to see, open our eyes to recognize when we come in and, and we encounter those who are lame spiritually, those who are blind spiritually, those who have turned a deaf ear to your word, that their ears would be open, they would be quickened to hear your word and come out of darkness into your marvelous light, Father. In the name of Yeshua, put a desperation in us. Forgive us for the distractions. Forgive us, Father. We have not sought your face like we should. We have not sought your heart like we should. We have not been in our word like we should, Father. We've not prayed like we should at times, Father. Forgive us. Forgive your people for letting down our guard. We want to pick up the sword again, the sword of your word, and truly fight. just surrender to that tonight, Father. In the name of Yeshua, we just surrender to your will, to your desire, to your purpose, your calling. We want to answer the high calling. We don't want to settle. We just, we just want to trust you and believe you because you are not a man that you can lie. So 
So we just want to believe you. We can rest in you. Full assurance of your goodness. Full assurance of your faithfulness. Full assurance of your strength. Full assurance. You are protector. You are provider. You are healer. You are master. Strong tower, strength and shield, that's who you are, that's who you are, and you will always be, you will always be our strength. You will always be our shield. You will always be our comfort. You will always be a strong tower that we can run into. You will always be the glory and the lifter up of our heads. You will always be our defender, our vindicator. You will always be, hallelujah. run into you tonight. We run to you tonight. In the name of Yeshua. We have a reason to celebrate every single second, every single minute, every hour, every day.
There's so much victory in praise. So much victory in praise. Father, help us to take advantage of the moments that we have to just praise you, to just stop, to just stop in that moment, wherever we are, whatever we're doing. When we feel overwhelmed with life and pressure and when things just start to get on our nerves and we start to just feel agitated, then we will just stop and breathe and remind ourselves that you have given us the breath of life. You have given us the ability to praise you in that moment. We don't have to fret. We don't have to worry. But we can just thank you. And we can rest in you. And rejoice in you. You called us out of darkness. You came to our rescue. We are free. We are free. We are free in our praise. We are free in our worship. We're free to represent the King. We are free, hallelujah. We are free. We are free, hallelujah. We're free. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 We want to carry that freedom to those who are in shackles, those who are bound up spiritually, those who are still slaves to sin. We want to be used to break those chains off of people's lives, chains that they don't even realize that they're in. Help us to recognize and see the bondage that people are living in, Father. Give us a strategy to break those chains and see a mighty, mighty deliverance. Salvation, restoration, hope. we've grown callous, you know, out here in our daily lives and encountering people, we've just, we've gotten callous. Break our hearts, Father. For those that are lost, break our hearts, Father. Bring us to a place of intercession. No matter what we're doing, that we stop what we're doing. If you call us to a place of intercession, if you put someone on our heart to pray for, that we will stop. We won't put it off. We won't put it off. We won't wait until tomorrow. We won't wait until we're done with whatever it is that we think is more important because it's souls that matter, it's lives that matter. And if you call us to drop everything in that moment and intercede for that person, that we will stop and cry out on their behalf. Because there's an enemy seeking to destroy, to kill, steal, and destroy the lives of people around us. Let us not take that lightly, Father. Forgive us when we've taken it lightly. And we've not carried the burden. We've not interceded like we should. The warrior rise up in us. But we won't settle. We won't settle for the usual programs and the usual things that we have planned to do. We won't settle. If you call us to our prayer closet, no matter what time, no matter what the day, no matter the hour, no matter that we will run because we know there's too much at stake. The 
and we're not playing patty cake with Hasatan. He's not playing patty cake with us. He's not fighting fair. I'm praying for a great awakening of your people, Father. Your called out ones, those that have become weary in battle, that you just breathe on them afresh, pour out on them afresh, raise them up, strengthen them to come back into the fight. Those that have been wounded in the battle, those that have been wounded in ministry and, and wounded by family, wounded by friends, those that have just gotten discouraged and worn out, that you strengthen them, Father. Raise them back up again. Those that have been lukewarm and in compromise and that you bring conviction, convict them. You said without holiness, no man shall see Yahovah. You're calling us to a greater level of holiness, to be set apart from the world. That we won't look like Egypt. We're not supposed to be talking like Egypt, walking like Egypt, walking like Babylon, looking like Babylon. We are to be set apart for the king. Forgive us. Forgive us, Father, for compromising and settling, procrastinating, being careless with the things that you called us to. We want to take care of your house. We want to be good stewards of the things that you have put into our responsibility, the things that you have put into our hands to be responsible for. Because everything in your kingdom matters. Every job in your kingdom matters. Every detail matters. There's no responsibility too small and no responsibility too big. It's all for you. We want to be set ablaze. We want to be set on fire for the things of the kingdom. Show us our carnality. Show us the things that we just continue to feed our flesh with, Father. The things that we do in excess that are not pleasing to you, Father. We want to cut it off. If it is not pleasing to you, we want to cut it off. If it is not a part of your plan and your purpose and your desire, we want to cut it off. In the name of Yeshua. Playtime is over. Playtime is over. We want to love you with a 
everything with every breath with all our strength with all our heart with everything we want to love you Yeshua we want to love you We want to please you, Yeshua. There's a cost. There's a cost when we truly, fully surrender to the King, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. so much more in our relationship with him. And I just believe he's asking his body that question tonight, his people. Are you truly willing to forsake everything and follow him? What does it look like to take up our cross and follow our king? What does that really honestly look like and can we examine our life and truly say that that is where we stand with him today what are we holding on to that's hindering what are we holding on to that's holding us back from truly running into our destiny and chasing after the high calling in christ People are getting desperate out here. Desperate times, people take desperate measures. The enemy's not playing. And it is time for Yah's people to rise up out of despondency, out of complacency, out of being lukewarm, out of religion. He's calling us to a deeper place of relationship and desperation. This has hit me so hard in the last 48 hours. My husband shared a dream with me a couple of days ago and it really 
really hit me hard. Because in the dream, you know, the enemy was setting a stage. He's setting things up, you know, plotting, planning. But my husband, he, he saw the enemy. The enemy was trying to hide. He was hiding in the shadows. And he thought that, that Stephen couldn't see him, but he saw him. And the minute they caught eyes, Hasatan ran for the hills because he knew he was found out. He couldn't hide. And I just began to think about all of the plots, you know, all of the traps and the snares that he's trying to set and people are asleep at the wheel. Yas, people have been asleep off their post, let down their guard. We have got to rise up, take our position in Christ, stand guard once again. This is not time to let up. This is not time to be lax. This is not time to sit on the sidelines and play games. Whatever it is that he's calling us to cut off, cut it off. Whatever distraction it may be, it may seem so small, but it's not. The enemy is not playing fair. We see that all around us. We are in a battle. This is to encourage and strengthen the body, to equip Yah's people that we wake up. thinking about the deception that took place in the garden, you know? And I thought about when Eve, when she, when she grabbed that fruit, when she bit into it, it must have been so good. It tasted so good. We can't even begin to understand how good it tasted. We've never experienced food like they had. And we would, we've never experienced a fruit like that. You know, when you bite into a juicy pear or something that drips down your chin, you know, it's sweet or a sweet peach that's just ripe. It just must have been so good. It was so appealing, you know, to her flesh. And, and her perception of things were, was changed. You know, did Yah really say this? Did he really mean that? Yeah, he meant what he said. But the, th the flesh is so deceptive. The heart is deceitfully wicked. Deceitfully wicked. We really, really have to be on guard and pray against the spirit of deception. It's so subtle. It's so subtle. Witchcraft has to be broken off of Yah's people because you don't know when you're caught up in witchcraft because you're under a spell. Like all of a sudden, you can just snap out of it. Wow, where have I been? What is going on? We have to really, really get diligent in our prayers and, and that the Father will open our eyes to any deception, any witchcraft. 
There is some slick maneuvering going on. And we have got to rise up. Thank you, Father. someone pray for the family pillar tonight? Whoever just pray. Father, open the eyes, ears, hearts of both the parents and the children in the family. They hear what you have to say, and give them each other the best to say. Parents have to say to the children, the children say to them, open your eyes, ears, and give them the words of what either the children or the parents have to say. Give them the words to open their eyes to you. Pray for the heal of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. can reconnect them into a loving relationship to you, Jesse, mm -hmm. to show the love that you have. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You would reach out to parents to not just go with every new doctrine and every new whim, every new seems fashionable for the year, the psychology for the year, to be grounded in your brain on raising children the way they should be. Yes. 
friend, mom, that and the children decide what's best for them. And the second parents, through your work, and that's what it's for. They just talk about the rules, the calculating things, and it's abuse of neglect, abuse of children during the night. Ministry, ministry calling. I to your, your ways in ministry. Where we've had an idea of what ministry should look like, it's not in accordance to your word, in accordance to the way you want it to be. We pray that you tear that down. We want ministry to be rooted and, and grounded in your truth and your word, Father. You don't want to come up with our own programs and our own ways of doing things and what we think things should look like in ministry. We just want to surrender to your ministry, how you want to minister through us to the people, your structure, your order. You are not the author of confusion, but you are the author of shalom. And as we function in ministry, there should be a, a shalom Pray that you send in strong leaders, strong leaders that are sold out to the king, that stand for righteousness, justice, and truth, and that truly have a heart to build your kingdom. In the name of Yeshua. 
very glad to see you have given so much patience. You have put up with all the grief, yeah. all the mistakes we make, procrastination that we do, yes. the um, imperfections that we have. Help us to show that same patience to each other. For those of us who are in some of the street, yes. you are our guide in that. Yes, as you have shown us, we show us how we show you the others. Yes, yes. Show us what's needed, when it's needed, how it's needed. And then to stop. Government pillar. Paul, would you like to pray for the government? Paul, would you like to pray for the government? Paul, would you like to pray for the government? Paul, would you like to pray for the government? Paul, would you like to pray for the government? Paul, would you like to pray for the government? Talking about the government pillar, you say, Lord, thy kingdom come, um, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, as you have promised for all eternity, Lord, for the true governance of the people of mankind on planet earth. But what is what's in your heart, Lord? So you've given to those Lord, who have ears to hear and eyes to see, behold, you hear the kingdom. Lord, uh, you've given us the tools, Lord, for, for the government to see the righteousness, to see righteousness and justice yes. flow from your heart to, to mankind. Lord, and we know, Lord, that uh, this day that you're bringing forth the fivefold ministry, Lord, to bring this, this governance, Lord, in perfect alignment, Lord, with your will, your divine will, and your purposes. Yes. So apostles and prophets, pastors, evangelists, teachers, all moving together with the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Lord, for guidance. And we believe, Lord, that uh, for this mountain, for in this day, uh, in this time that we're living through, for our, our rising of your ecclesia, Lord, yes. for true governance in the land, uh, that, that the, the, the blessing, that the impartation, that the authority that, that you're raising up within those who have been commissioned, who have a mantle of honor, Lord, for, for these giftings and your callings that you have provided. Lord, that they begin to walk in it, that we begin to walk in it, appropriate it, that the, the world, the, the world around us can see, they can see uh, your glory, Lord, in their midst, yeah. emanating, Lord, because it says, you, it says Messiah, Yeshua. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. So in the in realm of the governance, Lord, let it be, Lord, that the law will go forth from mm -hmm. Zion. Lord, we, we believe this is not pie in the sky. This is a reality. This is a reality. Yes, Lord, we yes, believe, yes. Lord, that you're going to give us the wisdom and the guidance, Lord, to bring this forth. The, the people will not be able to resist it. And they will stream to Zion because they'll see, Lord, uh, even if they don't understand with their, their human reasoning, Lord, of what these gifts and callings and what they are, they'll they'll recognize like the fruits. They'll know them. They'll see the the it, it is working. It is uh, it is working, Lord, and they'll know that it's it is beyond man's thinking. Yes. Uh, this is something yes. that God is bringing forth, and their eyes will be open. Yes. We're believing for this. We're believing. Yes. Eyes of people will be open, Hallelujah. and they'll be they'll be true. Submission, right? There can't be true yes. governance without submission and authority. We're believing, bringing, we're believing, Lord, for your priesthood mm -hmm. to be restored, Lord. Yes. Your true priesthood, yes. and uh, and uh, we just believe for this ministry of the prophet, the priest, the prophet of the kingdom. Uh, so, Lord, we just believe to break through, Lord, in this government mountain. Let yes. let the apostolic company around the world today, Lord, those who have the anointing and commission. To, to be to be influencers, Lord, in the society yes. that we're living, to be able to influence people, Lord, in high places and people who are running for office yes. on the local level, state, the government level, 
that it will be the priest, uh, the priest of your kingdom, Lord, yes. who are bringing the governance of Zion, Lord, uh, in, in the spirit, uh, Lord, uh, uh, this side of the first resurrection in the millennial kingdom, it will be a prototype. It will be like a prototype, Lord, of, of uh, like a, a blueprint of what's to come in the age to come. So let us move in that now and influence all the people around us, Lord, and let, let, let them uh, recognize the, the weight and authority and the word, you know, and, and there'll be a submission to their spirit. They'll say yes, they'll say amen in their heart, the hearts. They'll say they have some, this is something, as they said of Yeshua, we, who is, the, where, where did this man come up uh, with this teaching? Is a carpenter, you know, he's, uh, he's a, mm -hmm. a common man, you know, a car, carpenter, and uh, where did he get this knowledge? You know, that he's teaching like no one has ever taught before. Yes. No one can resist that authority. We're believing, Lord, for that to rest, that mantle to rest upon your people, upon in every region, Lord, raising up for the true governance of Zion in this hour. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our midst. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, just stand on your hand. Oh, Father, I have a for us to have an effect on the world around us. Every other small township, the states to the world. Show us how we can have an effect on the governance of this world. Yes. Yes. Come in. Help us to recognize opportunities that we have to influence those around us, Father, in those positions of influence. That we would walk in boldness and be courageous and not shrink back. As we know who we represent, we know who has our back and we know who is with us. So we don't have to fear what man can do to us. Mm -hmm. Yehovah is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? Yehovah is the strength of our life. Whom shall we be afraid? We don't have to fear. Business. Hallelujah. Lord, we just pray against this spirit of, of, of Babylon and, and it is governance, but uh, the, hierarchical, the whole hierarchical system, the whole system based on position, you know, and, and, uh, and this, this, this whole this whole thing, Lord, it just has to come down, Lord, because you're bringing something new, something that the world has not seen. But Lord, but you are, you're bringing uh, this to the, heart, the minds and the, the hearts, you're bringing this to the, the people who are hearing your voice, right? Who are, who are perceiving what you're doing, and we believe, Lord, for the uh, that you're you're bringing up uh, ministries in this hour by commission, not position. Lord, we just we just Lord, we just say down with this whole hierarchical position. It's been the whole thing, the whole problem, all the way through the Reformation, what they call the Reformation. All denominations, uh, this this the centralized control and all of that. Mm -hmm. Lord, uh, we're coming out of that. You're calling your people out of that. Yes, you're calling them out of that. But there will be true leadership. But there, and and we know that the true. We we're all coming into your apostleship, mm -hmm. the apostleship of the Lord Yeshua Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. Lord, you yes. are the grand apostle. You are our high priest. But we all partake of that that apostleship. Mm -hmm. Lord, we all partake of that as one collective body. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Let there just, this be an impartation, Lord. That there's no jockeying for position. There's no yes. structure like that. But there is there is a perfect organization structure that comes forth through the divine wisdom, Lord, through the spirit of wisdom uh, that rests mm -hmm. heavily upon your people. And they'll be moving together, Lord, uh, as one body and, and, and this, this one uh, organic union. And, uh, and nothing Lord, will be able to separate them from the love of Christ. Yes. Nothing, either height or death, or uh, uh, well, what does it say? <laughs> nothing be able to be able to separate us, to break the bond, or break the cords of unity, Lord. 
uh, as we come forth, all submitting, Lord, to your apostleship. Hallelujah. And everyone walking in their divine commission that you give them, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord, to discover our identity, Lord, in this, this grand, your grand plan, Lord, for the ages. Help us to understand our place, everyone, yes. and, and, and that we are part of this corporate body. We retain very much our uh, individuality or you know who we are you know uh, in our personhood but but we 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 eliminate all that uh independence that we have that is, mm. a, is a, 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 a yes. not not a you or that, that yes. independent spirit it was really a seed of rebellion you know that that thing from the very beginning oh. cast that down in jesus name in yeshua's name yeah. we understand you know Lord, the, the wonder the wonders of diversity within your uh, within your body Hallelujah. Make it make it uh, such a revelation to us, Lord. Let all this come by open up our, our, our eyes again, our spiritual eyes to behold this revelation, Lord, this oneness that you're bringing us into. Hallelujah. Thank you. Okay, for those who are moving and stepping into a place of business and in the marketplace that uh, they will not be truce breakers. They will not be covenant breakers. They will not be haughty and boastful and backstabbers. But they will be faithful servants in the kingdom doing your work the way you have structured things to function. Amen. Not as the world conducts business or the blueprint of what business looks like in the world, right. but the biblical blueprint yes. of how your people are to conduct business Hallelujah. and have true impact in the marketplace. Yeah. Pray for resources to come in for those that are stepping out in faith to, to start a business that believe that they are called to, to do business in your kingdom, that you Give them the wisdom, give them the resources. You said in your word, if if a man goes to build a tower, does he not sit down first to count the cost right. to make sure that he has enough to finish? Mm -hmm. So help us to, to function in business with wisdom from you, not wisdom from the world, that we will truly count the cost. Just pray for supernatural resources to, to flood in and that you just strengthen their faith as they step out into business and that your favor would be poured out so they can represent you well in the marketplace and have an impact on the lives of those that come in and, and use their services. Sure. We just left up the media pillar to you, Father. In the age of disinformation, so much, so much disinformation out there, and so many rabbit trails that we can get caught up in, and with the media and you know, these news outlets that are getting out false information and the conditioning that's happening. I just pray that you protect your people from those things and that we will begin to recognize just that we just open our eyes to truly see. And if you're calling us to turn off the TV, you're calling us to step away from media, that we just unplug from it. And we plug into our word, we plug into the Bible, Amen. we plug into our King and just lay aside those things that don't matter. I mean, if you're calling us to turn on the news, so be it. Turn on the news. If you're calling us to read an article, you're showing us something, you want to reveal something to us uh, through the media, you, you want to open our eyes to, to see something that we need to share with others so that they're not deceived. Yes. You know, we want to see what's really happening and be able to share with others so they can wake up to the truth as well. Father. Help us to be very, very selective uh, and be really yes. governed by the leading of the rule of Kadesh when it comes to just turning on or listening to media. If there's something you want us to know or something, uh, you know, that's one thing that we were very intentional about, but not to just to be flowing with it and opening yes. our spirit 
something or good at trying to pollute this, pollute our thinking, pollute our uh, everything. Okay. Uh, help us to be very selective and very, uh, you know, intentional yes. about what we do in, in, in this media. Yes. Uh, and let us be attentive to all media outlets that are coming forth, Lord, uh, on any level that are speaking truth, that are speaking things like that, that, that reflect on your righteousness, on your principles, on your yes. principles. On, on your goodness, uh, let us pick that up and let us begin to support you know those and believe for those whatever wherever they're at. But there are many media channels you're bringing forth, Lord, uh, that are truly the true media and what they call mainstream media is really uh, alternate media in terms of your your kingdom, in terms of your way you do it, and that's the way we should do it. Our view should be, Lord, with the way you because you are the plumb line. You are the plot line. Yeah. Uh, let us begin to take the aggressive ball, Lord, and take the position of re reclaiming dominion. The yes. Plots. Yes. Amen. No, no, we should not just be those who are always on the defensive. No, we declare this day we are on the offensive. Amen. But in 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 underneath in all humility, with you leading us, we are in the offense. With you going the force, Hallelujah. With your presence going the force. And with that understanding and with that position, then we, we move forward aggressively, Lord, in, uh, in reclaiming the dominion, uh, redeeming the dominion that was lost in Adam in the garden. We take it back now because we are the sons of Jehovah in, yeah. in the making. In the making, we are the sons, the manifested sons to be. So we declare that today, Lord. Let it be so. Finances with guidance to get into the media ourselves through your guidance. With such a wonderful outreach. There's so many things we can tap into. Yes. We want to do it in you. We don't want to do it our way. We want to do it in you. Right. But we need the finances. We need the guidance. We need the people. So provide that. So we can ride that path. Yes, Amen. media teams. We want media teams that will tell your vision, Yeshua. We will tell your truth and declare your truth over the airways. We will take authority in the airways, take authority and dominion in that place. Hallelujah. That you establish teams that will truly just. Hallelujah. Share without compromise your truth throughout the airways. Hallelujah. In Yeshua's name, and that those of a body that have gifts and arts and entertainment, those who have buried their talents and have been reluctant to, to step out in faith and, and share their gifts for the equipping of the body of Messiah, that they will begin to rise up. Those that have gifts to, to sing, those who have gifts and the art and artistic abilities to, to write, to write screenplays and, and make movies that will oh, tell yeah. your story. Yeah. You know, those that, that have a desire to just to dance and, and praise openly without shame and that will inspire those around them to just praise the king, to praise Yah Almighty without shame in the name of Yeshua, that you send in skilled uh, musicians and those that can play instruments, the musical Levites, they're just sold out that just wanna bring your song your song, Father, you sing over us songs of deliverance. So I pray that your song begin to be begin to be sung through your people, your your musical Levites that just come in and just gather and just have a heart to just praise and worship and give you glory, and that your glory will fill the house, and we won't even be able to stand to minister. That we just be in the glory. Hallelujah. In the name Hallelujah. of Yeshua, that you just put a Hallelujah. desire in us to just praise you. When we come and we gather that praise will not will not be hindered. Praise 
will come to the forefront. Praise will be, just become a part of our gathering when we come together Hallelujah. to celebrate. The celebration just really just ring out. Hallelujah. We just begin so. to praise you, so. Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you in a dance. Praise you in a song. Praise you. Stringed the instruments, drums, and release your worship, Lord. Release yes. your worship in the spirit and in truth. Lord, let us enter in with a, with a whole heart, Lord, to yes. go in the depths of worship we've never comprehended. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord, we, Lord, we bear witness with this word. Lord, the worship is the key to every breakthrough. It is the key, Lord, to break every bond, break, break every stronghold. So when we believe in, in laying on hands and impartation and giving the prophetic word, but we believe, Lord, the, the, the worship is the real key to the world to open up people's spirit, that they can really receive all the blessing, they can receive the impartation and the living word. So, Lord, release this worship, hallelujah, in a way we've never even seen before. Uh, uh, Lord, you, hallelujah, you are faithful, you'll be faithful to bring the Lord. Be content for it, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Be content for the, the worship, Lord, that, 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 that brings forth your glory. Hallelujah. Yes. We don't want to neglect a time of praise. We don't want to neglect. You inhabit the praises of your people. We want you to dwell in our midst and inhabit our praises. We want, to, we want to just have a, you know, so, so fun time and get a little snack. We want a true word that's going to bring deliverance, salvation, it's going to destroy the yokes of bondage under the anointing. Yes. Yes. It's the anointing that breaks the yoke. Hallelujah. Pray your anointing just be released in this house, in this place. Mm -hmm. oh, that we just come in praise and unity. Celebrate. Just pray that celebration just break out. All cares be cast aside. All worry be cast out in the name of Yeshua. All anxiety be cast out in the name of Yeshua. And we just come in with thanksgiving and praise and expectancy yes. to hear a word from the Most High. Hallelujah. We come in hungry with a strong desire for just more of the King, more of your word, more of your commandments, more of your truth. More of your spirit. We just want more. We want more. And we know you want more from us. You want more. And we want to give you more, Yeshua. We just want to give you more. So tonight we just we just release it all to you. We just give it all to you. Give it all to you. Give it all to you. We turn it over. We turn it all over. Yeshua. We turn it all over. Everything. Everything we hold on to. We just let go. We just let go. It's really that simple. I, I need to grasp this in my own life. It's really that simple. I just hear him saying it's really that simple to just let go. To just trust him to rest in full assurance but if he tells us to drive something out 
then we need to drive it out. If he tells us to lay something down, we need to lay it down. If he tells us to rest, I've got this situation, rest in him, knowing in full assurance that when he says he's got something, he's got it. Yeah. If he tells us to take hold of something, that we take hold of it. It's in obedience. It's in obedience and rest and full assurance. But it's just so simple. We complicate things. I complicate things in my life and allow worry to come in. And I fret too much and concerned about this and concerned about that. And he's saying, it's just that simple. Just trust me. Incline your ear to me. Hear my instruction. Do it. No matter what it is. Well, you see, it's become as a little child. Well, that's the way uh, in, in the right in the family structure that's oriented for your over. That's the way it is. Uh, because children today trust and obey. I mean, that's a whole other story, but that is in his design. Come yeah. as a little child, you know. Uh, yeah. you know uh, that, that's, that's a word. That's a word. It is. And, you know, I struggled with that for a long time because I didn't have that picture. I didn't have that example. And I couldn't trust. I didn't know how to trust my Heavenly Father. But when he said, I am not a man, when I read that scripture for the first time in my life, I am not a man that I can lie. It just clicked. You're not a man. I'm looking at him through the eyes of my flesh. He's faithful. He is a provider. He is trustworthy. He's, he's only for our good. He is only anything that he tells us to do or not to do. It's only to bring us into life. It's always to bring us into life. So, Father, tonight we thank you that you always lead us into life. You always have our good in mind. Your thoughts towards us are good. They're not evil. We thank you for your long suffering towards us that you put up with so much, so much. We want your correction. We we desire your correction in our lives so we can we can be good, faithful children to you. We want to obey you. As you said, if we love you, we're going to keep your commandments. We're going to obey you. So we want that correction. So we thank you tonight for that. Thank you for everyone that's represented here, every house that's represented here. Just pray your blessing upon every house, yes. every marriage, yes. every child, and every family. Father, even those that are not here, those that, that come and gather at Kavod and at House of Hope that are not here, we just lift them up to you tonight. Just pray you strengthen them. Reveal your truth to them even more and more. Take them into a deeper relationship with you, Father. The deep places of your heart. In those places of your mind. Just elevate our thinking to, to not think like man. But we, we want to we want to be elevated in our thinking. And not be hindered by our fleshly way of thinking things should be or the way we think things should look like. Just pray those that that need a touch from you that may be battling any kind of ailment that you just touch that tonight. Bring healing. Those that may be experiencing um, high levels of stress that they just press into you and the anxiety will cease, that they will rest in you, that their sleep will even just be sweet 
that they'll wake up refreshed, and just restored in you and, and ready for the next day. Uh, those that may be struggling financially, that you just bring in the resources that they don't have to worry. Um, that you, you know, give them the wisdom, show them what they need to do um, to, to get those resources that are necessary to, to do what you desire to do in and through them. And they don't have to worry. That you just continue to bring unity to, to this to this house. We walk in unity. We increase our faith. If there's any unbelief that you help our unbelief, help us. We just trust you and rest in who you are. Show us me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lift up his countenance upon you and give you his shalom in our Messiah. Yeshua HaMashiach. Can I even pray for those that are, are going to maybe see this video um, at another time, that they just be blessed, encouraged, and strengthened, and that deliverance would come forth in their lives. If there's any bondages, that that would be broken off in Yeshua's name, that any, any blindness, that, that the eyes would be opened, ears would be opened to, to hear the truth, and they would just step out in faith on fire for the King. Yeshua's name. Oh, I have multiple. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, my boss called me. I'm getting a new girlfriend. I'm getting the old one. 